Hi Aquarius, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning, and thank you so much if you are. I really appreciate you guys, all your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares mean the world to me. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do so, and please hit the thumbs up if this one actually you know, resonates with you. If it doesn't, you can check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, and you might find something there. If you are new, please be advised it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Aquarius out there. Uh, but again, you can check your other signs. Also, I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. And my readings are typically focused on love, but they can resonate on any relational level, okay? Um, if it does hit home and you want something more personal, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You can also find there the link to my Patreon page where I upload extended versions to all my readings or all my Zodiac readings now. Uh, you can get access to all 12 for just $3.33. Just saying, throwing it out there. If you want to follow me over there, great. I love you. If you don't, I still love you. All right, so that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Aquarius for the month of March 2020. And it's a spread I call the Lady V after Venus. And um, like I said, it can resonate on any uh, relational level, you know, your coworker, friend, family member, whatever. But generally, it is love. Love, love, love. That's what everybody really wants to know about, isn't it? Most people looking for tarot readings are looking for love information all right so i have been shuffling your energy in already for a good 15 minutes before i started recording but I'll get a few more in here on camera all right so spirit love energies relational energies for aquarius sun moon rising and venus and aquarius for the month of march 2020 please And Aquarius, so sorry that this reading is a little late here into March. We've already got a week out, but it just couldn't be avoided. Some months you're going to be, it's going to happen. Some signs are just going to get, I, I start off with whoever's birthday it is that month, and I usually just follow suit from there. So sometimes you are going to be probably, you know, into the, into the first week of March before you get a reading, but I do the best I can to get them all out as soon as I can. But, you know, it's hard when you're, uh, when you work full time and, you know, but I, this is my passion and I do want to bring you, I want to eventually bring more readings to YouTube, more free readings, you know, do some career stuff and all that, but you know, it's a slow process. Okay, Aquarius. So we're ready to go here. How you feel about your person in March, the moon, Hmm, a little bit confused, maybe a little fearful, feel like something's being hidden from you. Maybe how they see you, the queen of wands. Okay. She's in reverse right now, but we'll see. I, She's pretty pissed off when she's in the reverse, so I don't know. We'll see if that goes up right. But uh, the Queen of Wands, that is fire energy. You might have fire in your chart. Or be, feel, be feeling extra fiery lately. <laughs> That's the way they see you. How they feel about you, the Fool, also currently in reverse. Don't freak out because I will use my pendulum once I get them all laid out. Okay, uh, that's Aries energy. In the past, between you and this person, we have the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of waiting going on, some investments. You guys invested in this. Somebody invested and was waiting for a return on their investment. <laughs> I don't know if it came. We'll find out. The current energy is the Ten of Wands. In reverse at this time, we'll see. There were some burdens. Uh, the action your person's most likely to make towards you this month or the energy they bring your way, the Two of Pentacles, some indecision, juggling maybe. They might be very busy right now. Your advice when dealing with this person is the Five of Cups. It's currently upright. I feel like it'll probably go reversed um, and tell you to stop, you know, focusing on the negative, I think. Um, your outcome. This is preliminary. We will get clarifiers. The Knight of Wands. I was seeing him when I was, uh, when I was shuffling. Interesting. We'll see. That's fire energy. All right, your overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. It's also currently in reverse, but we'll see. Let's see. 
Let's do it. All right, Spirit, upright or reverse the Ace of Pentacles, please. Very good. The Moon. The Queen of Wands. The Fool. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Appreciate you. Yeah. So, yeah. Turn that frown upside down, Aquarius, uh, Spirit says. Okay. You've been focusing on what you've lost here instead of what you still have. Maybe you're just not seeing it. You need to turn around, okay, with this. I'll get back to that. Your overall energy is actually in the upright, the Ace of Pentacles. And when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I know that all three of my decks that I use uh, the at the bottom of the deck when I was done shuffling, we had the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I was like, it's looking pretty good for Aquarius this month, okay? But it does look like you're getting offered something. You're getting some sort of opportunity for something solid, stable, and committed here, Aquarius, for March, okay? But how you're feeling about your person, you're just like unsure. You're feeling very confused and maybe a little bit fearful. Uh, you are trying to use your intuition when it comes to this situation. Uh, but also you may feel like you don't have all the information. You just feel like you're in the dark about something when it comes to this person. Like there may have been some deception uh, or you feel that they, maybe they lied to you. Maybe you feel they're deceptive. It certainly could be, or there's just some illusions and uh, delusions here. You feel you, you just, you're unsure. You're confused. Okay. How they see you is the queen of wands. Let me tell you, there's not much of a better way to be seen by a significant other, whether you're male or female, no matter what, this is energy. And this is extremely sexy energy, okay? I mean, it is it is off the chart sexy. It is badass. It is this this energy is you get shit done. You know what the hell you're doing. You you get it done. You you're very motivated and ambitious and uh, a manifester. You manifest shit in this energy, right? This is the one that gets everything done and then makes everybody else look like a slacker, <laughs> okay? This is Aries energy. Uh, but it could be any fire, any fire sign, of course. But uh, yeah, this is confidence and uh, definitely sexy energy. So your person has definitely noticed you. And it looks like they want to take a leap of faith in your direction because their energy, how they feel about you is the fool. They're uh, thinking, hmm, maybe I should take a leap of faith towards Aquarius, okay? Uh, this is card zero. They want to start over, start from the bottom with you, take a risk, take a leap of faith. They're feeling uh, footloose and fancy free. And when it comes to this connection, they're really wanting to take a leap of faith. Okay. They're, they're feeling inclined to do this. Okay. We'll see where it goes in the past. It looks like maybe they weren't as uh, ready or somebody wasn't, somebody was doing a whole lot of waiting around. Okay. So maybe uh, you invested in this person and nothing really, you didn't see any real fruits of your investment. And so you just maybe stopped investing and took a step back or somebody I feel took a step back. Okay, somebody pulled back and was just like, okay, let me let me assess this. Let me let me reevaluate here. Okay, there was just some waiting going on. And right now, maybe somebody's still waiting. I don't know, but there's something that's very burdensome in this dynamic here. The Ten of Wands, you've been on a cycle with this person. It's been, you know, I'm sure it hasn't been 100% uh, negative, but there have definitely been negative aspects of this connection that have felt very, very burdensome. And it's felt like a long time, even if it's been a short amount of time, it's felt like a long time because it's, the burden is just build it and build it and build it and it's it's finally there it's like you're at the breaking point something's about to give i do feel a breakthrough of some sort is on its way because we're at the 10 here in this burden so something's about to to break something's got to give here okay your person the energy they're bringing your way is a little bit busy energy here they might be juggling it doesn't necessarily have to be another person. I don't necessarily see evidence of like third party energy at this time yet. I need to get the clarifiers, but 
certainly this is an energy of juggling most often and it's you know so there could be another person involved if not it could be this person's just having trouble balancing their personal and professional life or whatever it can always just be something like that okay but either way this person also this could be in, this is indecision okay it's balance and in, in, or imbalance or trying to stay balanced and indecision somebody needs to make a decision it's your person here they need to make a decision and they're they're weighing the pros and cons going back and forth what should i do should i take a leap of faith towards aquarius or not you know they're feeling inclined to do that you're being advised to stay positive because you know the five of cups in the upright is stinking thinking it's just it's negatively thinking, okay? You're focusing, this person is very down and in despair, feeling disappointed and or regretful uh, about these three spilled cups, not realizing there's still two cups standing perfectly fine behind them. And uh, that's the two of cups, okay? So if this person just turns around and sees what still remains, then their despair may start to dissipate finally, you know? But so that's what Spirit's telling you you need, to, you need to do. You've been very, I feel a lot, many of you have been very negatively thinking and focusing on what has been lost and your disappointment or regret, and you need to get past that, okay? You need to turn around and see the bright side of things, see what still remains. This is supposed to be upright, okay? Everything was upright except for this one. So your outcome right now, okay, I'll need to get more clarifying cards because this could be an unstable energy for sure with the Knight of Wands. No matter what, somebody's riding in. I do feel like uh, somebody is going to ride in very passionately towards you, Aquarius. Or maybe it's you going towards this person. It is very passionate energy, um, most likely sexual, <laughs> okay, also. Um, but it is not stable. So this is, I mean, the knights in general are not famous for stick, sticking around, you know, because they just, they bring what they come to bring and then they move on. They're travelers, but... This one in particular is the least stable of all of them. He sticks around the least amount of time because he's very passionate and on the go. He's on the move, this guy, right? Or or girl. I mean, it's it's energy. I read energy. I don't read gender, uh, you know, but we have to pick one usually. So I say he, but it could be she very easily. Okay, let's get some more cards and see where this goes. All right, Spirit, please clarify these cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020. Clarify them two by two, please, and then put two cards at the bottom of the deck for overall energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020, please. The remainder of... All right, Spirit are the top 16 cards, the correct cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to clarify these. And is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Two cards. Thank you. All right, let's see how you feel about your person. You're confused. You're a little bit afraid. You're burdened. Ooh, it looks like you're the one who's the burden or in burden, feeling burdened right now. And death. Ooh, do you feel it's over or do you want it to transform? I feel like you might feel like it's over. You feel like, you might feel like you're at your limit with that 10 of wands. You've like hit your limit and you're thinking, all right, something's got to give. We need a death or a transformation here. Something's got to give. I might name this something's got to give, actually. Uh, how your person sees you, Aquarius, the devil. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, maybe you seem slightly obsessed. And the fool, ooh, but they know you want to take a risk too, I feel. They, or they see you and they want to take that leap of faith towards you. <clears throat> they might be obsessed. Actually, they might be obsessed with you, especially if you're coming across as the queen of wands. That's the kind of, that's the kind of energy that people obsess over for sure. All right. Uh, how they feel about you. Judgment. Okay. On top of the fool. So yeah. And the seven of pentacles, they're waiting. They're waiting. They would like 
to take a leap of faith. They want to resurrect this. I feel they want to resurrect this. And they're waiting. Maybe they've put, given you an ultimatum and they want a decision. And they're waiting for your decision. All right? In the past, the waiting, the Page of Pentacles, somebody made some sort of offer or apology. The Page of Cups. Okay, that one's in reverse. We'll check and see. But again, there was some sort of... Uh, commu there was definitely... Uh, significant communication in the past and I feel like there may have been an ultimatum or an, just an offer you may have offered your uh, affection to this person and uh, or they offered it to you but you're feeling very burdened so hmm in the current energy yes the burden is real <laughs> and the hermit you're doing some soul searching one or both of you is doing some soul searching and really trying to think about what you want looking for the star in that lantern and the Eight of Cups, you may be thinking about walking away for good. We'll see. I'll have to get find out what uh, direction that's really supposed to be in. The energy your person is bringing your way. Ooh, the Tower plus the Two of Pentacles plus the Tower. Okay. We'll see. Maybe that's supposed to be reversed and they want to rebuild. I mean, it looks like they do. And the Magician. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something here. They feel that they have what it takes. I think this is going to go reversed, to be honest. Uh, your Advice. The nine of wands, don't give up. Even though you're tired, you still got something good here. If you just turn around and look at it. I know you're tired, you're weary, you're definitely burdened, you've been through a lot. But you do still have one fuck left when it comes to this person, I feel, Aquarius. And Spirit is saying, it's not time to throw in the towel yet. This guy stands strong. Okay, even though he is tired. Look at him. He's known as the wounded warrior, okay? But he's already put all the effort in standing up the rest of these wands. He's not giving up now. He's just invested too much. Okay, now is not the time, but one last ditch effort. It's called my one fuck left card for a reason. And the Queen of Cups, because you love them. Mm hmm. And they love you. I feel there is deep, deep emotion here between the two of you. And that's why I don't feel like you are going to give up at this time. Uh, in the outcome, clarifying that Knight of Wands, the Sun. Wow. There's something great coming for your, your way, Aquarius. I feel that's going to stay upright. That's clarity. You have the moon over here and how you feel right now. So maybe you're going to be enlightened and that's what this tower is. Maybe you've just recently become enlightened or that's going to happen. But the sun, that's the best energy in the deck. And there it is. You see it's over here in your overall energy. The ace of pentacles, there's your outcome. The ace of freaking pentacles. So yeah, there's going to be a solid stable offer. I believe that'll stay upright. Overall, the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse the Seven of Cups, please. And the Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. death the devil oh wait a second death yeah I, I felt a switch up there so you don't want it to be over I want to go ahead and change that right now you definitely don't want it to be over you are feeling burdened but you don't want it to be over and this is supposed to be reversed and this is supposed to be upright all right, Spirit, upright or reverse the devil. The fool. Judgment. The seven of pentacles. The page of pentacles. The page of cups. The Hermit, the Eight of Cups, the Tower, the Magician, The Nine of Wands, 
the Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, so I feel like you both want to come back together. You're both thinking long and hard about coming back, um, and you're burdened by it. You both want to come back, I feel. All right. Is everybody else good? Yep. So, yeah, in your overall energy, I feel like there is going to be an end to the confusion. You have been on uh, a lot of have there's been a lot of confusion in this connection i do feel like you guys have been on a cycle obviously we have the 10 of wands twice so there's definitely a cycle you guys have been on and it's coming to a close this new cycle is starting okay there could be distance between you and this person fyi with the world card but there's going to be an end to the confusion you guys i feel will meet up discuss things cooperate there's going to be a cooperative energy going forward into march okay may not be necessarily in the beginning of march we do we are still in a mercury retrograde and i know a lot of cycles are wrapping up for people with this full moon in Virgo here uh, that's happening tomorrow, okay? Um, but yeah, there's a cooperative energy uh, this month. I feel like you guys will be working together and you are, you know, a pentacle is coming your way, Aquarius, or you're gonna extend that pentacle. But yeah, uh, you don't want it to be over. You are feeling very confused and fearful right now about moving forward. You don't really know what to expect when it comes to this person. You don't know if you have the full story or all the information you need. You might be under illusions or delusions. Um, and you're trying to use your intuition about it, the situation. You are feeling very burdened and you're like, something's got to give here. But you don't want it to be over. The bottom line is you are not ready for this to be over. Okay. So you want the burden to end, but you clearly do not do not want the relationship to end. Or if it has already ended, you want to bring it back, okay? Your person, I think, is kind of obsessed with that actual idea, okay? I mean, they are, like, coming unglued, very, very attracted to you. Extra, I mean, this is coming across as very sexual energy for me, okay? With this Queen of Wands, I just feel like they are, they're burdened by their sexual passions for you. And they're, like, obsessed with this new beginning that they want with you is what I'm, I'm getting. That's how they feel. They really want to take that leap of faith that and start things over with you. And they're obsessively thinking about it and obsessively thinking about uh, whatever. If you guys have had, you know, an argument, they're thinking about the makeup, you know, time. <laughs> okay. Um, and just thinking about getting back with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is how they feel. They want a fresh beginning, a fresh start. They want to do over. They want to bring it back. They want a resurrection. Okay. And they've been waiting. They're waiting for you. I feel Aquarius. Okay. If they've put that or they're waiting for communication or they're waiting for an answer, they're waiting for something when it comes to you trying to decide this is retrograde. This is very retrograde energy. So they may be reevaluating, reassessing, you know, and, uh, just revisiting everything and thinking about they, they want a new start. They want to bring this back. Okay. In the past, I feel that, yes, somebody, there was a lot of waiting going on. There was investing, okay, and investing, an investment of emotion and resources into this connection and uh, time and energy and all that. And I feel like, you know, there was communication and an offer may have been made, but I don't feel like it it was taken, okay? So I feel somebody was left waiting for an answer, okay? We've got two pages here. Uh, something got started for sure. Now, this could be children, by the way. For some of you, some children, you might have been waiting for children in some way. You take that how it resonates. But if it's not, it could also be that, you know, just something started here. This connection started, but it was just in page a page level connection it just never really fully started you know to grow uh and, and started didn't start to actually bloom okay um it was just in the beginning and you were waiting and there was investing and not really feeling like you're getting a whole lot you were just getting page energy back maybe or your person but i feel like there was um and by page energy i just mean small and somewhat immature uh energy but there was definitely offers made here and i feel like somebody may be waiting for an answer okay um in the present energy you both are very burdened uh, i feel that you probably are in separation especially since you're both like it seems like hermit mode both of you are doing a lot of soul searching and thinking right now which is what you're supposed to be doing that's healthy retrograde activity okay but you're both thinking about returning again very retrograde energy okay so I mean, that's what you guys are doing. You're both feeling very burdened about the current 
status of the connection. You're going within and doing a whole lot of thinking about it, internal thinking, and really thinking about how much you want to come back together and revisit this connection. Both of you, not just one, both of you. Okay, your person, the energy they're bringing your way, they are going back and forth trying to decide, okay, if they have what it takes, if, if you both have what it takes to rebuild this. So it tells me that you guys did have some sort of tower incident. There was something that was wiped out here, okay? It could have just been a truth that came out and you were like, wow, okay, all of a sudden you felt very enlightened to something or your person felt very enlightened to something or there was a legitimate incident that was bad. It could have been an argument. You could have, you know, found out about, you know, and if there was a third party or something, some of you that certainly could apply. Uh, but something happened that totally destroyed the foundation of this connection and uh, because it was faulty, it just wasn't, it wasn't built on anything solid at the time. So this is usually the universe comes in and wipes it out. Either a truth is revealed or just somebody gets busted or you have some sort of argument or something happens, that, you know, miscommunication that makes everything, you know, all of a sudden you're like, wow, I never realized that or whatever. And you start seeing things differently and you have to decide. The universe wipes it out so that you can decide whether or not you want to rebuild. And it looks like both of you really do want to rebuild this and your person is trying to decide either if he want if they want to to at all or if they if they can think of a way to manifest this they want to rebuild this they're trying to think of a way okay you're being advised to definitely think long and hard use your intuition definitely use your intuition with this and you know think about you know this is an energy of being in your feels. So really be in touch with your emotions this month, Aquarius. I mean, you're Aquarius, so it's not like you're known for being all that in touch with your emotions. You need to get in touch with your feminine side, I'm hearing. Get in touch with your emotions, okay? And really think about this this situation, okay? Because it's going to take, you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to, you know... Be ready to work for it because this guy's tired. You're going to be feel tired, but don't give up. Universe is saying it's obviously your choice. You don't have to take anybody's advice, not even spirits. You're in charge of your own, you know, choices. But spirits saying, you know, you need to turn around and realize what you still have. Stop being so negative or depressed or whatever it is that you've been. And be ready to put more work in. I just dropped that. Hold on. Pick that one up with my toe. Yep, I did. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, you know, be in touch with your emotions and use your intuition in this situation. Okay, be ready to put the work in also because, you know, the nine of wands, you're going to be putting in some work. The burden is not yet going to release it, but it is in the process of releasing. Okay, but look what's on the other side of that burden releasing. This is amazing, Aquarius. Passion. And it looks like I feel... It's not going to be in and out energy. This is going to be very passionate energy. I do feel very sexual energy. I don't feel its instability because we have it coupled with the Ace of Pentacles and the sun. Okay, which the sun is like includes this and everything positive in the deck is included in the sun. Okay, so there's definitely enlightenment, clarity and positivity and just overall happiness and emotional satisfaction satisfaction on all levels with the sun and your outcome aquarius okay i will be looking more into the outcome and see if we can get some more details as well as how your person feels the energy you're they're bringing your way and some more advice and oracle cards if you're interested in following me over to patreon otherwise i hope you guys have a beautiful march happy saint patty's Happy Equinox if you celebrate that, and uh, take care. I'll talk to you guys in April. Thanks. Bye.